Princess, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we are doing a bookshelf makeover. As you can see behind me, I bought a new bookshelf. I've been wanting a white bookshelf for a long time, but you know, I'm the type of person that unless like I really, really need something, sometimes, by the way, but if I, if I don't really, really need something at the very moment, I won't buy it. But my old bookshelf, the brown one, literally fell apart because I just put too many books on it. I think the maximum was 20 pounds per shelf and yeah, I went over that and it's just completely destroyed the back of my bookshelf. It just fell apart. So I'm like, you know what? Now it's time to get that white bookshelf that I always wanted, you know? So yes, uh, my boyfriend built this for me. So thank you, babe. You're the best. And as you can tell, my bookshelf are just all over the place. So yes, today's video is going to be organizing my bookshelf talking about some organization tips and tricks that I've learned, you know, by researching and watching other videos. And also I asked you guys in my Instagram stories, what were some of your organization tips so that I could, you know, use it in this video. I actually don't know which of your suggestions I'm going to be using, but if I do end up, you know, using one of yours, I'm definitely you know, going to give you credit in my description below. But yeah, I read all of your suggestions. I also, you know, did my own research on Pinterest and also other booktubers and bookstagrammers um, to see how they organize their bookshelf. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am to organize my bookshelf. And I'm also going to be showing you some of the things that I bought to, you know, decorate it. So let's do that right now. guys so like i mentioned i'm going to be showing you some of the things that i bought to decorate my bookshelf and i went to marshall's and got myself a few things uh let me show you um i guess we'll start because i do have some things that i already like own so um the first thing i guess we'll start is with this little ball situation i just feel like it's a great accent to the bookshelf and like you can even like put it in a table in your coffee table or like display it anywhere around your apartment and it was literally so cheap you guys this was like 6.99 actually it wasn't that cheap i'm lying um it was 12.99 but most of the stuff that i got was like 6.99 7.99 but yeah i just loved it i think it's going to look real nice in the bookshelf and i also got i've been dying dying for a letter board but most of the letter boards that i you know found online on amazon or you know any other stores they were kind of expensive but i found this one 6.99 um, and it's marble i think i've mentioned it here before i love marble it's small enough to fit in my bookshelf so i think it's going to look really nice and i can just i don't know maybe put bookish quote on it maybe quotes that i've read in some of the books and yeah i just think it's going to look pretty nice just displaying some quotes then moving on um, I always wanted, always, and my boyfriend knows this, to get ourselves a global globe. And yeah, I was like, babe, if we get it, you know, let's use it to put it in my new bookshelf. Now that I changed my bookshelf, we finally got it at Marshall's. This was like $16.99. It actually didn't have a price tag. But then at the register, the girl, you know, told us that it was $15.99 or $16.99. I don't remember. But I just love it. I've been meaning to get one of these for a while. My boyfriend also loved it. So yeah, we're pretty excited. You know what he said? This is a true story, by the way. He's like, oh, maybe one day we're rich enough to just like be like, babe, let's see, let's see where we will travel this year. And then just, oh, you know, let's go away. You know, this will be so fun. I wish I had the money to do that, but yeah. Um, I'm very excited to finally own a mini glow. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be displaying it in my bookshelf as well. Maybe like in the bigger shelf because it is kind of like medium size. But yeah, I love, love, love this. I also got from Marshall this little basket. Isn't this so cute, you guys? As soon as I saw it, I'm like, this is the one. It's the right size. Um, and you were probably wondering, why would you need a basket for your bookshelf? Well, when I was doing my research on how to decorate your bookshelf, I saw this picture. Um, I'm going to try to put it here. Uh, but I saw this picture where you, you know, put maybe some books inside, maybe your paperbacks or like whatever you want to put inside. And then, you know, put this little basket in the bookshelf and it creates this beautiful aesthetic that I'm like, I'm going to do that. Like, it's so cute. I love this. So yeah, I am very excited to display this on my bookshelf as well. And some of the stuff that I already owned were this little fake succulent plant. I think that's how you call it, succulent. Yeah, 
let's go with that. Um, so yeah, I bought these at Ikea. Some of them are from Shein, Shein, whatever you call it. Um, but I think these are from Ikea. Um, I was just there like two weeks ago and they were like $1.99 each or even less, maybe like a dollar each. Um, so yeah, I got a few of them. These are them. I think I only got these three or I have more somewhere else. But yeah, I got these three fake second implants and I'm just going to, you know, display it around the bookshelf just to give it some greenery. If you follow me for a long time, you've probably seen this sign already. Uh, it lights up like that. And I got this at Amazon like three years ago, four years ago. Like I had it with me for a long time. And yeah, this is M for Mary's. And it's also like the initial of my boyfriend's name. So it's kind of like, you know, nice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be displaying this letter lighted, you know, this letter in my bookshelf. You know, M for Music with Mary's, M for Mary's, my name. So, but yeah, I'm also going to be adding this to the bookshelf. That's basically what I'm going to be using to decorate my bookshelf. Of course, I'm also adding the books. Duh. But yeah, these are some of the decor that I'm going to be using to, you know, organize and decorate the bookshelf. So let's get started. All right, you guys, so let's get started. Like I mentioned, my boyfriend actually fixed my old bookshelf, so I'm going to end up keeping it. I'm so excited. But right here, I'm just taking the books away from the bookshelf and the book cart and just trying to make a little bit of space so I can later separate them by how I'm going to organize it. decided to organize my book cart as well the books after I cleaned out both book cart and bookshelf guys I didn't realize my collection was out of this control but you know you know I'm making changes I'm making changes I'm actually going to be giving some away and maybe donating some to my library so yeah be in the lookout for that because now I need to know how I'm going to be organizing my bookshelf so I can separate this book pile and of course I had to grab a snack because your girl has forgotten to eat as per usual but yes right now I'm just going to separate them by how I'm going to organize it this moment I was just separating the hardbacks from the paperbacks So this is what I have so far. It might look totally like unorganized and a mess, which of course it is. But um, I actually separated the books by how I'm going to organize it in the bookshelf. So I have my paperbacks here, like in the center. Um, these are my paperbacks. And this is my little pile for my Spanish books. Um, I think I read all of them already, but yeah, that's like my Spanish books pile. Um, and then over here, are books by the same authors so this is you know books by the same authors book by the same authors so yeah i think i'm gonna do a shelf with um you know all the authors in one shelf if you know what i mean anyways um these are some of the books that are 
at the top of my TBR at the moment. I'm such a mood reader, so I have to be in the mood to read that kind of genre or that kind of story. So yeah, these books are really like on top of my TBR right now. This is actually my friend's book um, on Instagram, Nicole Reeves. It call, it's called Crimson Hearts, if you guys want to check it out. Um, but yeah, this is like the top of my TBR right now. And then this book right here, um, giving away. I think I'm gonna give some to my local library. Um, because it's a lot of books and it's like very random like different authors genres so i think i'm going to donate some to my library and then of course i'm going to be giving away some to you guys so be in the lookout for that um but yeah these are the like the books that i'm getting rid of and then what else well these are more hardback so this is where i have my hardback books pile this is one and then these are the rest so yeah these are my hardbacks some of them here too so yeah these are all hardbacks and then like i said the paperbacks are in the middle so yeah that's basically how i you know kind of try to separate them it's a lot of work you guys so if you are a book lover or you're trying to be a library in your house um just know that it takes a lot of work because even with this amount of books which to some people might not be a lot um i'm like struggling you know to organize so yes this is what's happening so far all right you guys so i decided that for the top shelf i wanted to add um hardback books no particular order, just some of my own hardbacks. And I'm just playing around to see, you know, which one fit and how many I'm gonna put. So because of my OCD self, I just decided to keep the books that are similar in size in this row. So I'm just adding hardbacks of the books that are pretty much the same size Let me just add that just watching this clip while I edit was so cringy because my OCD self just shows here to the max. Like I just wanted them to be like so on the same line that I just stressed myself over it. <laughs> Hopefully there's no more than 20 pounds on this shelf because that's a lot of books. shelf I just decided to keep adding hardbacks so the way I decided to organize this shelf is by keeping four tall hardbacks and then following by three smaller ones I decided to illustrate my favorite authors. I'm gonna show you later who they are. Let me just say that I was so indecisive on where to put this ball. I decided to leave it there at the end, but like I'm still even thinking whether I'm gonna leave it there or not. But yes, this is the fourth shelf and this is the tallest one in the bookshelf so I decided to keep adding more hardbacks here. I'm going to be completely honest you guys for the last shelf I had no idea how to organize or what to do with it so I just added some like random books, paperbacks, hardbacks, doesn't matter and I also kept the basket here with some paperbacks inside. it's time to add the decorations and do the finishing touches. Alright you guys, so we are finally done with the bookshelf makeover. I am literally a 
obsessed with the final look and how it came about. I am very, very happy with it. I did make some changes here and there that I didn't film, but I'm gonna show you what each row, like how I organize it. I also organize my book cart um, and I'm also going to explain to you guys what each row and how I organize it. But yes, it just looks so much cleaner now and organized. And I am literally so happy that I'm finally, finally done. And that I have. So let's start from the top to the bottom. So at the top shelf, I decided to add the hardback books. And for decor, I added the little M and the little second implant here in the corner. But yeah, there's no particularly like you know, organization on the books itself. It's just like some of my regular hardback books. And then onto the second shelf, I added more hardback books and the glove. I placed it there and I think it looks great because when you see like the overall look of the bookshelf, that's like the first thing you see and I love that. Um, so yeah, I think it looks great there. And for the books, I decided to add more hardbacks on the second shelf, but I did a little organization here. So I added four tall hardbacks following by three smaller ones so if you see that's the pattern here so you have four and then three four and then three and yeah that's how i did that and then on the third one i added it by authors so these are some of the authors that i own most of their books um elisabeth acevedo christina lauren um, Taylor Jenkins Ray, those are like, first of all, they're like my favorite authors. So that's why I own more other books. So yeah, I decided for the third shelf to keep it only for like my favorite authors. Like I said, we have Christina Lauren here and I added that little succulent plant at the top. And then we have Elizabeth Acevedo. And then we have Taylor Jenkins Ray. And we also have one of my favorites, Colin Hoover. So yeah, those are like, like at the top, my favorite female author. And I decided to dedicate the third row for them. And I also added the letter board here. And for this video purposes, I added my username, my you know YouTube and Instagram username. So yes, I think it looks great there too. And then at the fourth row, which is like the tallest road, if you can see, there's like more space. I added the little ascent ball in the middle then i have some hardbacks here again no particularly order on genre or author and then more at this side and again i just added another succulent plant here i'm still unsure like i don't know if i'm gonna leave it there but for now that's where it's gonna be and in the last row this is where i added the basket i think it looks so good there i put some paperback books in there as well and then more paperback books here in the bottom. I actually mix it with like two hardbacks because they couldn't fit in the other shelf. But yeah, this is how I did that row. And this is the final look, you guys. I don't know what you think. I'm probably like, like I said, I'm such an indecisive person. So I might move things around, but for now, this is how it's gonna look. And like I said, I'm very, very happy with it. I love it. I think it looks great and i'm very excited now for my book card so i also organized my book card like i told you guys on the first row here i just added my tbr i don't usually do tbrs they're mostly like my book club picks of the month um but i also added some of the books that i want to read in the near future or some of the books that i didn't get to finish not because they were bad um, but because I just didn't have the time to finish them for discussion, for my book clubs or anything like that. But they're mostly like the books that I'm I'm reading now or the books that I'm reading soon. So yeah, that's what this road is for. This is the road where I have my DNF, Do Not Finish pile. And then here, there's just like more paperbacks. I didn't know that I own more paperbacks than hardbacks, but yeah, it, it looks like it. Uh, so yeah, I just added, you know, no particular order here, but I just put some paperbacks on the last row. And All right, you guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it and enjoy it. I finally, finally have my bookshelf organized. Like it's such a relief. You guys have no idea. I've been meaning to do this for like the longest, but I just didn't have the right time, but it finally happened. And I'm very, very excited with how it turned out. I hope you guys, like I said, loved it because it literally took three hours to finish. So if you're doing this, if you're trying to like build your home library or like a small apartment library, just your whole like collection of books, just know 
that it takes time because I am like literally sweating like my makeup is just like so glowy right now and it's because of like I'm sweating but yeah I hope you guys like I said like this video if you did don't forget to subscribe and comment and let me know if you guys think you know it came out all right did it come out all right should I move some things because like I said I have like such an OCD and like I'm such an indecisive person so even later I might move things around but for now I think it looks great but if you guys have any other suggestions, I would truly, truly appreciate it. Leave it in the comments below. And yeah, I hope you guys love this video and thank you for watching. See you until the next one. But yeah, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I can say that word. Why? One, two, three. But yeah, I hope you guys are at. Let's just let's just let's just do it in one in one take because. But if you guys, but if you, conchole.